Hello and this is an introduction video of section 4 doing more with containers. In this video we will be looking at how you can link containers to each other. So containers are linked via commands used at runtime. To link the containers we will use tac tac link switch command. In our example we will be using WordPress with MySQL. So WordPress and MySQL both will be deployed in different containers. One thing to mention here that we will be linking containers via container name, not with the IP address. So let's go to our terminal. So before going to our terminal, we will look into Docker Hub repository for MySQL. So as you can see, we are in the official page of uh, MySQL container. So in this page, you will find a lot of information about the parameters that MySQL container can accept and we will be going to use some of these options. So let's go to our terminal and demonstrate this. So now let's check our Docker images. So we have pulled the WordPress image and the MySQL image of 5.7 version. We are using MySQL 5.7 version as authentication method has been changed from MySQL version 8 and above. So now let's create our MySQL container. So what this command is doing is creating a MySQL DB container and with the options of MySQL container which is MySQL root password equal to password and then MySQL image which is 5.7 and then we have assigned default authentication plugin. So now let's hit enter. So now let's check our container docker ps. And as you can see, it's running on port 3306. Now let's make sure that it is working. So for that, we first need to look into the IP address of this container. So let's docker inspect MySQL DB. And this is the IP address of the MySQL container. So let's copy that. Now let's clear our screen. So before testing the MySQL container, you have to have these packages, MySQL server and MySQL client. So in our case, it's already installed. So we will go for the testing. So MySQL root, tag p, tag edge, the host and the host IP address. So let's hit enter. Now we have assigned the password to is equal to the password, so we will assign the password. And now we are successfully able to log in in MySQL container. And we are connected to our database as well. So let's check that. Now, if for some reason you are not connecting to the MySQL database, uh, you have to check your permissions. So we will check it via select user comma host from user. Now in here I have defined another field for the root and that is the percentage. It defines that you can connect it from any host. So make sure that this entry belong here. Let it exit. So now let's create a WordPress container and link it with the MySQL database container. So let's clear our screen. Now what this command is doing is basically assigning the name of the container, the WordPress site, and the tag tag link will connect the container with the MySQL. So we have assigned the MySQL DB, which is the container name, followed by the MySQL, and then we have defined the options, uh, which is WordPress DB password is equal to password and WordPress DB user which is root and we have assigned and expose it to the port 80 followed by the WordPress image. So now let's hit enter. Now let's check our WordPress container and sure it's been running. Now as we have exposed the WordPress to the 80 port uh, so let's access it on our browser. So in here I will type the IP address of my machine. 
129. So we are successfully able to access uh, our WordPress installation wizard. So that's how linking works in between the containers. And that's it for this video.